Praise the Lord. Tonight in your life, tonight in your family, tonight everywhere here, everywhere in the nation, everywhere, all the nations of Africa, Europe, America, Asia, everywhere, God is at work. In your life, God has a, is at work. In your family, God has, is at work. The amen is like far away from me. It will solve your problem. It will destroy the works of the devil. It will set you free. It will set me free. Me, me. It will set me free. You are going to find tonight a great day, a glorious day, a problem-solving day, a mountain-moving faith in your life in Jesus' name. I believe. I know. We know. You will know today by experience. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight and bless your name. We'll be reminded that there is nothing you cannot fix. There is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing you cannot solve. And Lord, we accept that tonight in Jesus' name. Lord, from the beginning to the end of this day, this meeting, move among your people everywhere, all over the world, in Jesus' name. Confirm your power, your miracle, your wonders, your salvation, and your fullness in every life, even tonight, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. Testimonies in every mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, as we come back again for showers of blessings. Why are you here tonight? I'm reading from Ezekiel chapter 34. I'm reading from verse 26. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 26. And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing. And I will cause the shower to come down in its season. And there shall be showers of blessing. Amen. Now, yeah. that's the word of the Lord. There are some words in the Bible that God will send, and then He'll send through a messenger. But this one is saying, I myself, He is the one talking. And he's talking to you, your creator, your redeemer, and the very source of all blessing is talking to you tonight. I will make them. Let me put your name there. I will make you. And the places round about you a blessing. Internal in your life, blessing. All around you, a blessing. In your family, a blessing. All your environment, a blessing. That's why you have testimony tonight. I have testimony tonight. And I will cause the shower to come down in his season. Shower coming down, that's coming from God coming from heaven in a season. And then it says, there shall be showers of 
blessing. Let me point to you there three words. Number one, shower. Shower. I will cause the shower to come down. Number two, season. In his season, I will make the showers to come down. And then he pluralized it and said, the showers of blessing. There's one word now I'm bringing to you. We're saying the shower. We're saying the season. We're saying the showers. The source. The source. That's the one that said I. He said it on the first line. And then he said it again. I will. That is the source. I'm talking to you today on the inexhaustible source, the I, the God, the creator, the redeemer, the supplier, the one that is able to do all things everywhere, anywhere, anytime. That source is inexhaustible and is the inexhaustible source of showers of blessing now that source well the showers let me spell that for you the sanctuary all we have tonight is coming from a sanctuary because a sanctuary is full and it's going to drop blessings upon you each heaven the source where the showers are coming from is heaven, and heaven is full. If you have bad eyes, heaven is full of good eyes to drop right there. If you have bad ears and bad throat and bad lungs and bad legs, heaven is full of all the spare parts. Heaven will fix you up tonight. Oh, there is omnipotence. Omni means all, all, everything. Omnipotent means all powerful. All power in heaven, all power on earth is supplying your need tonight. That is the source. It's omnipresent, it's omniscient, and it's omnipotent. And tonight, there is no doubt that omnipotence is going to work on you. I didn't hear a good global amen. W there is the name of the one a child is born. A son is given to us and his name shall be called Counselor, the Mighty God, the Prince of Peace, and his name is the Wonderful wonder of all wonders nothing else can come from the wonderful one except wonders i see it coming your way i see it coming to you there and when i see you tonight and i see the change and the transformation in your life even angels will wonder at you you become a wonder tonight I am a wonder tonight. If there is Emmanuel, 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 and you'll call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us, the God of heaven, is looking at this crusade. It holds a special attention in heaven and God, Emmanuel, is there with you tonight. Anywhere you are, power, the power of Emmanuel will strike you there. Impossibilities will vanish away. Our is the reign of revival, refreshing, renewal coming from on high. That reign spiritual. 
that reigns supernatural is going to come upon your life tonight if you are dry if you are weary if it's like you are fainting because there's so much dryness and dreariness refreshing and revival and renewal and righteousness has come from the reign of heaven upon your life tonight in Jesus name now the S there is shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. There's no lack here tonight. There's no impossibility here tonight. There is no suffering here tonight. The Lord is going to anoint your head. And your cup will run over. He will set a table before you in the presence of your enemies. He will tie your enemies down. You say, Pastor, why didn't you say he will kill my enemy? When your enemy dies, they cannot see that they are powerless. They cannot see that you are blessed. But when they are still alive, and they said, you will not have a child. They said, you will not progress. They said, you will not climb. God will not kill them. He will tie them down. And then they will look and they will see. As they are looking at you, you are making progress. You are possessing. And your life is turning around. And you are climbing to the peak of your blessing. And your enemy will say, there's no point being an enemy to this person. I'll be his friend. He'll convert your enemies to be your friends in Jesus' name. Now, that's the source. And today, we're going to have S for showers. We're going to have salvation. H, we're going to have healing. O, we're going to have outpouring. W, we're going to have washing. It will, it will wash you whiter than snow. E, we're going to have emancipation. Emancipation. All the robes that tied you down and you appear to be a prisoner, you are free tonight in Jesus' name. You know, I, I'm so excited because I'm rejoicing for you. I've never seen a day like this when I know that I know that I know that I know that you, you are going to be delivered and set free tonight in Jesus' name. <laughs> then righteousness. God bless you, sister. Righteousness, refreshing, renewal is coming upon your life today. And then super abundance anything you are asking for the lord will multiply and go beyond any healing you are asking for the lord will increase and go beyond any freedom you are asking for the lord will increase and go beyond you will have super abundance somebody shout amen you will have security Somebody shout security. security. With long life will I bless you. And I will show you my salvation. You will not die young. You will not die prematurely. But security. Healthy life. Long life the Lord has brought to you tonight in Jesus name. And you will have sanctification. You've been hearing about sanctification, like somebody hearing about a car and never owned a car, like somebody hearing about a, about a boat and he never owned any boat. You've been hearing about people having a house, having land, and you never had. You've been hearing about people having sanctification, and you said, What's that? I don't understand. And other people, they give testimony. You say, I don't understand. Today is your day. <laughs> what you have been hearing others had and you didn't have, heaven is going to rain it upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. <laughs> Sanctification will come even for you in Jesus' name. Remember now, the topic tonight is 
the inexhaustible source of showers of blessing. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Number one, salvation, sanctification, satisfaction, saturation from his sanctuary. I'm reading to you from Ezekiel chapter 47. Ezekiel chapter 47 verse 12. And by the river, upon the bank thereof, on this side and on that side shall grow all manner of meat whose leave shall not fade, neither shall the foot thereof be consumed. It shall bring forth new fruit according to its months, because their waters be issued out of the sanctuary. They issued out of the sanctuary, and the fruit thereof shall be for meat, and the leaves thereof for medicine. Ezekiel was the one that spoke about the showers of blessing, and he said, can I tell you the source? Can I tell you the spring? Can I tell you the origin of that river showers of blessing? He said, is out of his sanctuary. Out of his sanctuary. That is the very dwelling place of God. That's where the showers are coming from. Look at verse 3 there. In verse 3, and when the man that had the line in his hand went forth his word, he measured a thousand cubits. And he brought me forth through the waters, and the waters were to the ankle. Very low. It's coming from the sanctuary. It's coming from the presence of God. It's coming from the habitation of God, from the sanctuary, just to the ankle. But don't go yet. Look at verse 4. It says in verse 4, and again he measured a thousand and brought me. He brought me the first time I came in. It was to my ankle. It's measured in new volume now. And he brought me through the waters. And the waters were to my knees. What you saw yesterday, it increased to the knees. And today, more increase. More power. More satisfaction. More outpouring in Jesus' name. Look at that verse 4. And he measured a thousand and brought me through. Every time he brought me. Every time he brought me. Every time he brought me. He's bringing you to more today. He's bringing you to more depth and more height and more breadth today in Jesus' name. And he brought me through and the waters were to my loins. It's increasing. Today, it will increase in your life. Look at verse 5. In verse 5, it says, Afterward, he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass over from the sanctuary, first of all, ankle, later to the knees, and then to the waist, and now above the head that I could not pass over, for the waters were risen, and the waters to swim in a river that could not be passed over. The Lord is doing that tonight. And the Lord will give salvation. Say good amen. Real salvation from a sanctuary coming to you tonight in Jesus' name. Because there's no other name whereby we can be saved but the name of of Jesus and then it will bring satisfaction in your life you see I'm not happy with my Christian life tonight you'll be happy with your Christian life I'm not happy with my progress tonight you'll be happy with your progress the little of God is too small I'm not happy tonight there's going to be satisfaction in your life in Jesus name 
and then saturation saturation when we talk about salvation it will saturate the whole of your personality tonight in jesus name the salvation will affect your heart will affect your spirit will affect your soul will affect your mind will affect your tongue will affect your language will affect your behavior it will saturate you tonight in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 58, we're reading from verse 11. Isaiah 58 verse 11, And the Lord shall guide you continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not, whose salvation fails not, whose satisfaction fails not, whose saturation fails not. You are going to get a spiritual touch a dynamite in your soul, in your spirit tonight. Anywhere you go, what you have will be greater than any challenge you can ever face. I come to the next one now. The next one now is healing, health, and holiness from heaven. This one is coming from heaven. Christ came from heaven. He brought healing from heaven. He brought help from heaven. He brought holiness from heaven. And he came, he was looking for you. And he's looking for you today. What he brought from heaven, is looking for, where is he? He's looking for, where is she? You will get it before you go. Look at Acts chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 38. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and, and uh, tell me, and uh, healing all, healing me, healing you, healing everyone. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. How I rejoice tonight that the Lord is going to touch everyone. Yeah. And he's going to touch you. Yeah. Healing has come for you tonight in Jesus' name. Yeah. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Sickness is of the devil. All that calamity is of the devil. But thank God, Christ is greater. Christ is higher. Christ is stronger than any demon, any devil, any evil spirit. And today, it will take you out of his hand. All the property of the devil in your life, everything is destroyed tonight in Jesus' name. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. And so, all the help you need tonight is available. Therefore, you come boldly, you come assuredly, and you come sincerely to the throne of grace as you're seeking help tonight. Help will come your way. Help will come my way. And then, uh, you know, that thing they call holiness. And, you know, somebody said, you know what? This is the polite people. Every time, holiness, holiness, holiness. Where do they get this holiness? You get it from heaven. And it's available tonight. I said it's available tonight. Look at it, look at it yourself in Romans chapter 6, and I'm reading from verse 18. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Look at verse 19. In verse 19, I speak after the manner of men, because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members, Servants to uncleanness and unto iniquity, even so now yield your members, servants 
the righteousness unto holiness. All you do is I surrender myself. I yield myself. And the rest is for Christ to do. And he will do it in your life. Amen. Verse 22. In verse 22 it says now. Being made free. Now. When? I said when? He is the one to perform the operation. And the thing that likes sin, likes to sin, likes to do evil, all that, the Lord will operate here tonight. Now, now, be made free from sin and become servants to God. You have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. That's what you came for tonight. It will be done. Help from on high. Holiness from on high. And healing from on high. The Lord will grant unto you. Number one, salvation. Number one, satisfaction. Number one, saturation from his sanctuary. Number two, healing, help, holiness from heaven. The next one now, oh, is outpouring. Outpouring. You know, when the rain is pouring down, if you run quickly and you run to the toilet and you run for a shelter, the outpouring will come, you remain dry. But if you stay there tonight, outpouring is coming. Overflow is coming. Outflow from heaven unto everyone is coming as you stay there and you say, this is my day. I said, this is my day. Outpouring, overflow, outflow from the omnipotent. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 3. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. That's all you need. You thirst. You're eager. You're passionate. You say, Lord, I want everything that your omnipotent power and your omnipotence and your omnipresence can do for me here today. And the Lord said, I will. I will. You want it? I will. You ask? I will. You pray? I will. You are thirsty? I will. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. Floods upon the dry ground. You are dry. Your life is dry. Your inner organ is dry. Everything is dried up and it cannot function. Outpouring is coming. Yeah. Outpouring of spirit. And it will make you, make you come alive even tonight in Jesus' name. Floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. Lord, we're waiting. And the Lord said tonight, it will pour out. There will be an outpouring of the Spirit of God upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. In Joel chapter 2, it reminds us what will happen in our day. In Joel chapter 2, reading from verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward, I will pour out outpouring. I will pour out, there's an outpouring. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Anyone having flesh upon all flesh, they come to God. They are saved. They have salvation. They come to God. They have holiness coming from heaven. And then after that salvation, after that holiness sanctification, they are ready now for outpouring. And he says, I'll pour my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. 
Your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall see visions now. He has to open your eyes before you see those visions. Your eyesight will be bright tonight. Glaucoma vanish away in Jesus' name. Cataract vanish away in Jesus' name. And all that blindness anywhere, everywhere, come out in Jesus' name. And then it says in verse 29, it says, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days these are the days i will pour out outpouring outpouring i will pour out my spirit in malachi chapter 3 looking at verse 10 malachi chapter 3 reading from verse 10 it tells us bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse he said, while you are coming, come with your heart. Don't leave your heart behind. Come with worship. And don't leave and don't say, well, I'm going to worship idol when I get back home. Leave all that behind and come. Come with your talent. Come with your mind. Come with your spirit. Come with everything you have. And then prove me now herewith says the lord of hosts if i will not open you the windows of heaven amen yeah. the windows are opened upon you you know when you count an animal and uh, you know whatever outside your window when you count them dangerous you close your window you lock your window you don't allow anything to pass through but God is looking at you as his own children he's looking at you as his friends and he's looking at you and he welcomes you and he says come I will open the windows of heaven for you and pour you out a blessing. Pour you out a blessing. Pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. You will get more than you are praying for. You will have more than you are qualified for. Abundance, open windows, open doors upon your life in Jesus name outpouring overflow outflow from his omnipotent power we thank the Lord tonight there's no failure here tonight we thank the Lord tonight there is no sickness that will not be healed in your life, in your body tonight, in Jesus' name. He will fix everything in your life. He will do everything in your life. He will solve all the problems of your life, in Jesus' name. S, salvation. H, healing help and holiness oh outpouring overflow outflow now double you he will wash you i said he will wash you you know you try to wash yourself like little child mama leave me alone i can wash myself now and then he tries to wash the face and the tummy and then the backs all dirty everything dirty and mama said look at you now look at the way you are now let me do my job let god do his job tonight he will wash you i said he will wash you every dirty thing he removed out of your life in jesus name and when you come out of that washing from the Lord, angels will look at you and they will say, you are whiter than snow. Men around you, women around you will look at you and say, I never saw you as clean, as bright, as white, as I see you now. To you tonight, the Lord is going to do it. Is the wonderful one 
the Son of God is the wonderful one, the one that went to Calvary to die for us, the one that is called the wonderful, that will do that wonder in your life tonight. Uh, look at this. I'm reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 11. And such were some of you, but your past will be cleansed. Your past guilt will be washed away. And all the evil of the past that you are guilty of tonight, the Lord will say, I have nothing against you. What you brought in from your past life, he has washed everything away. And that's why it says such were in the past were some of you, but ye are washed. I am washed. I am washed. If you say it, it will wash you. I am washed. Say it aloud. I am washed. Ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. That washing, that cleansing is for you tonight. He will do it. I rejoice for you. Heaven is looking at you now. And he's saying at the time of prayer, the moment you surrender and give yourself to the Lord, heaven will come with the sponge of heaven. You cannot get the sponge in Japan, in China, or in Nigeria, in America. It's coming from heaven and the blood of Jesus will cleanse you and wash you from all sin. And then look at Psalm 51, verse 7. In Psalm 51, verse 7, Purge me with his soap, and I shall be cleaner, and I shall be cleaner, and I shall be whiter than snow. I didn't hear you. Yeah. It will happen in Jesus' name. There is a washing that makes you white. And that brings the wisdom of God into your life. And now we're going to the next letter. We've seen W there. And we're now coming to emancipation. Emancipation. What does that mean? That means the Lord will emancipate you. Will liberate you. Everything that ties you down. And you are trying to rise. You are trying to stand, stand up, stand up for Jesus. You wanted to, but you could not. You were tied down. And then walk by faith and walk in the light. You could not because you were tied down. Emancipation has now come. Deliverance has now come. Liberation has now come for you. Look at Matthew chapter, uh, chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth his son, and thou shalt call his name. What's his name? Ah, that's how you pronounce the name. Say that name. Thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save he shall lie bridge. He shall emancipate his people from their sin. And then verse 22 tells us, Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, verse 23, it says, Behold, a virgin shall be a child. And shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. That Emmanuel is here tonight to liberate you from sin, to set you free from sin, to emancipate you from every power of sin in your life in Jesus name now you'll also have the strength the energy of an eagle you will not be on the ground like this anymore you will get up you will mount up 
let me read one verse of the Bible to you in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord, those who wait upon the Lord, they want all the showers. And when the showers begin to fall and you get salvation, they don't run away after that salvation. When the showers begin to fall and you have salvation and healing and holiness, they don't say that's enough. They're waiting. And when the showers begin to fall, they have salvation, they have holiness, they have healing, they have health. Now they wait until they have outpouring, outflow, and overflow. And then they keep on waiting until there is total, permanent, perfect emancipation. And then all the ropes are caught. All the ropes are bunched down. And then they rise up like an eagle. And you have an eagle eye. I said, you have an eagle eye. You can see far away. And then you have the eagle empowerment. And then you get up and you move up. And you will see all that God has provided and prepared for you. And while you are waiting, everything will become yours. For they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. You will walk and you will not faint. Yeah. Why are you there? Things are going to change in your life. Showers are going to come in your life. The power you never had. The vision you never had, the eyesight you never had, and the lifting power you never had is coming upon you today in Jesus' name. But you know, there are the people that are waiting with eagerness, they are waiting with expectation, and they are waiting with real confidence in God, knowing that everything God has promised, he will fulfill. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run. You will run this race before you. And as you are running the race and you are following after the forerunner, Jesus Christ, you will not be tired. You will not faint. And you will not be weary in your life in Jesus' name. What kind of power is that? It's the power of the Holy Ghost. You know, there is salvation when you come in at the door of the kingdom. There is holiness and sanctification as you move further in and you lay yourself on the altar of the Lord and you consecrate yourself completely to the Lord. And the Lord then says, that's not all. What he brought from heaven, what he paved the way for, empowerment, the power of the Holy Ghost. As you wait upon the Lord, you are saved, you are sanctified, you are made holy. It brings the power of heaven upon your life. Look at Acts chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 4. Acts chapter 1, reading from verse 4. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait. Do you ever hear that? But wait for the promise of the father. Once he becomes your father and you become his child, a beloved child, an obedient child, a righteous, holy child, wait for the promise of the father, which saith he, ye have heard of me. And then in verse 5, for John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Amen. Yeah. 
Amen for you. Yeah. Verse 8. Verse 8. But ye shall receive power. But I will receive power. But we shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. I will receive power. I will receive power. I will receive power. Peace, purity, Power. When you come to the Lord and He saves you, He gives you peace in your heart. And then you move forward, He gives you sanctification, your purity of heart. After peace and purity, you move on again, and He gives you the power that comes from on high. He will give you the power in Jesus' name. Emancipation, ego, I, empowerment from Emmanuel. We're coming to R now. R is righteousness, refreshing, renewal from his reign. In Psalm 72, I'm reading from verse 6. He shall come down like rain. He, the Messiah. He. The Christ, He, the Son of God, He, our Savior, Sanctifier and Shepherd, He shall come down like rain upon the moon grass as showers that water the earth. He, Christ, He comes down. And the moment I tell you, if you want Christ in your life, you want Christ in your life, raise up your hand, then you raise up your hand, then I say stand up, and you stand up, you're making yourself a candidate for that rain to come down. It will come down upon you. Look at Hosea chapter 6, and I'm reading from verse 3. Hosea chapter 6, verse 3, it says, Then shall we know, if we follow on to know the Lord is going forth, is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us. He shall come. As you, as you receive him, I say, yes, the Lord is mine, and I am the Lord's. It says he shall come down unto us as the rain, as the latter and the former rain on the earth. And that's when, when he comes and he pours himself down as rain, that's when righteousness comes. All the self-righteousness is swept away. The kind of artificial righteousness that cannot get you to heaven, it takes that away and it gives you righteousness from the righteous one, from the Lord himself. And it comes upon you like rain. Look at Hosea chapter 10 verse 12. In Hosea chapter 10, reading from verse 12, Sow to yourself in righteousness. Reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground. Don't allow any hardened heart, any fallow ground to disturb you tonight. Don't allow anything to pull you down when you are to raise up your hand, when you are to stand up and have Jesus as your Savior, as your Redeemer, as your righteousness. Don't allow anything to make you sit down there. It says you break up your fallow ground for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Some people, 
You say, yes, I have righteousness. I say, what kind of righteousness? It's like when you put a drop of water on their dress, you cannot even see the, dro the drop of water. It is like when you just splash water on them, and the water you splash on them is the literal kind of righteousness that they pray for, give me, give me righteousness on the Sunday morning in two minutes, and they are gone. And when the sun is rising up, all that water is dried up. But this one says, it is time that you seek the Lord until he comes and he rains righteousness upon you and that righteousness will bring refreshing in your life renewal in your life redemption in your life everywhere you go continual continual evidence of righteousness of rain in your life in Jesus name Praise the Lord, you are having it tonight. And now the final word is there is sanctification, there is security, and there is super abundance from the shepherd. Super abundance from the shepherd. You will get something from heaven tonight. And everybody you come across, even looking at you before you speak, they will know you got something. I got something. If you're sure, I got something. Super abundance and security and sanctification. Congratulations. I say congratulations. Heaven has recognized your being here anywhere you are. For this crusade, heaven has recognized your place there tonight. Heaven has mercy on you. Heaven has compassion on you. And the Lord is going to visit you with super abundance, with security, with sanctification, or showers from on high in Jesus' name. Look at John chapter 10, verse 10. John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come. Tonight, he has come. Is by your side there. I am come that she might have life and that she might have it more abundantly. I didn't hear your amen. amen. Then in verse 11, it says in verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep. The Lord has given his life he has brought everything you need from heaven. And now it's your chance. Now it's your opportunity. You will not go empty-handed in Jesus' name. All the showers the Lord has brought from heaven for you tonight. For you tonight. And for you tonight, he will not take it back to heaven. You will get what belongs to you. Yeah. Salvation, you will have. Yeah. Healing, you will have. Yeah. Outpouring, you will have. Yeah. Washing and cleansing, you will have. Emancipation, you will have. Righteousness, renewal, revival, you will have in Jesus' name. And the super abundance of eternal life you will have tonight. I will have mine. I will have mine. I will have my portion. Ex bowed and eyes closed. Your time has now come. Time of blessing has come for you. Time of forgiveness has come for you. And the time of salvation, redemption has now come for you. Nobody will take your place. Nobody will take your blessing. That salvation, that ticket to heaven, 
that is for you will not pass on to another person in Jesus' name. As bowed and eyes closed, you are having what Christ has brought for you. You are having your salvation now. You are having that redemption now. You are having the gift of God from heaven now. Raise up your hand wherever you are. It's yours. It's yours. It is yours. Definitely. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Raise up that hand. Praise the Lord. I'm praising God for you there. Praise the Lord for that person there, for that person there. Online, anywhere you are, drop every other thing now. Raise up that hand. Salvation, free grace of God is coming upon your life. As you are raising up your hand, please stand up. You are raising up your hand. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you with salvation. God bless you with help and holiness. God bless you with this outpouring of the grace of God upon the life of the people that receive. Raise up your hand and stand up. Heaven is watching for you. Heaven is looking for you. Heaven is searching for you. Rise up now. Rise up now. That salvation is coming while you are standing up. Just quietly there, tell the Lord, O oh Lord, I come. Lord, I know I am a sinner. I know I don't have any righteousness of mine that can take me to heaven. But I depend on your gift of righteousness. I depend upon your forgiveness. I depend upon your free grace that grants me salvation even now. Thank you, Lord. I hand over all my sins unto you. I receive your salvation, redemption, and righteousness. Thank you, Lord. I believe I am saved. I am saved. I am saved. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you because you have come with showers, salvation, satisfaction, saturation, a new life, emancipation, liberation, eternal life. And you said, whosoever comes to you, you will for no reason cast away. Accept every one of these people right now and give them your salvation in Jesus' name. Lord, wash them, cleanse them, purge them, pardon them, give them peace of heart, confirm the peace, that pardon, that purging right now in Jesus' name. Let your spirit bear witness in their hearts. They are now children of God. Because you don't reject anyone that comes to you. Thank you, Lord. It is done. It is done. It is done. They are saved. They are washed. They are cleansed. They are pardoned. Their names are written in the book of life. Thank you, Lord, for a confirmation. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 